associated conditions that need to be addressed when it comes to arthritis? When we are dealing with a patient with arthritis, especially young patients, we have to exclude certain conditions that can manifest as arthritis. Uh, especially if the patient is having thyroid problem, they also lead to joint pains. Some patients who have diabetes, long-standing diabetes, they also lead to um, joint pain and destruction of joints. Patients might be having some connective tissue disorders, they also lead to joint pain and uh, swelling and pain restriction of movements of joints. So these are the conditions we need to exclude when we are dealing with a patient with arthritis. Another most common condition is post-COVID arthritis, in which we have to take history of COVID infection in the past, whether they have been administered steroid in steroid doses. They also are significant in dealing with patients with arthritis. How does one deal with living with the condition? Patients who have long-standing arthritis, especially rheumatoid arthritis, they do have frequent up and downs in the course of arthritis. Suddenly they will have severe pain, swelling and restriction of some joints. That will lead to absence from work and many times these up and down in arthritis lead to psychological conditions. So one need to take medications very regularly. Uh, second thing, if patient uh, faces some issues with their medication, side effects, medication, long term medication that lead to side effects also. So they have to be in regular touch with their physician to modify or regulate the medications. Another thing is that um, arthritis also leads to restriction of joint movements. That leads to muscle weakness. So every patient who are dealing, uh, having long-standing arthritis, they have to do regular exercises. They have to take a balanced diet. They have to take supplements to make arthritis uh, manageable and keep them functional for the rest of their life.